I look at a horse, I, I look at them from the side, and I do the, the law of threes. So I think about dividing him up with the, um, with the line running right about here, just behind the, the just at the withers and behind the forelimb. And then I put another line right about here, right down along the loin here. And I kind of look him up, look at him in threes, and say, all right, does the front end work with the barrel, work with the hind end? And often with the stifle horses, I'm going to have to move his leg in here, with the horses that are struggling with some stifle problems, we'll see that they're well developed in the neck and the barrel, but that they don't quite match in the hind end, that there's some muscle atrophy going on. So that's just a quick way of assessing what's going on. He really doesn't look too bad. I know he's in work with Emma, he's doing some, some jumping and whatnot. Um, he's not as bad as I've seen some. He's a little on the light side, but he's not bad comparatively, okay? So that's just the rule of threes. And like I said, if you go home and look at your horse, you might find that they're a little bit disproportionate at the hind end. They don't have as much muscle in that area that we want. Then, uh, can you turn him facing the back door towards your mom, please? That's good. And then try and just back his back leg up a little bit. Yep. Good. Awesome. Ooh, you've been practicing. Nice. That was the one thing I said. You can't practice any of these ideas. I worked with them two weeks ago and I went to check out um, check out Peter Pan, but I did ask him to see if they could get him to square up more. So that's lovely. Good job. So he's nice to square in the hind end. What we want to look at is his central line coming right down through his tail. And then I look from side to side and look at the muscle mass from midline to his lateral hip, the side of his hip, and compare it here. And I'm sorry to have my back to you all. Um, he's not real, it's not real obvious that there's a huge discrepancy here on this horse, okay? Sometimes you'll see a significant asymmetry of the muscle mass, but sometimes you won't. This horse is what I call a bilateral horse. He's been involved on both sides, so he might, you know, be glued, lost some muscle side to side any, anyhow, because he's had bilateral problems. And then I look over here at the lateral aspect of the hip between the point of the pelvis down to the stifle, and I look for hollowing in here. And he does have some hollowing. Now, you might all be thinking, well, gee, some like thoroughbreds are going to have more hollowing than a big butt of a big warm blood or a big butt of a quarter horse. So you have to keep that in mind, too. But you're looking for significant hollowing. Um, and he's got, he's got a little bit on each side. I don't know, that could just be his breed and the way he's developed, but again, you wanna look at it from side to side on your horse. Then the other thing you can do too is kind of, for, for me, I mean, I'm, this is what I've done for 25 years is palpate. So I kind of get a sense of uh, how much muscle depth is in this area too, because looks can be deceiving. So I compare it side to side and push, pushing on this muscle area, and I, when I, I did evaluate this horse two weeks ago um, for this purpose, so he's, he's got a little more mushiness on this side. So